We're very grateful you're joining us this evening for EWTN News Nightly. I'm Brian Patrick. Interesting story of a man who recovered after living 12 years in a so-called vegetative state. It's back in the news this week. Martin Pistorius was diagnosed with a degenerative disease when he was just 12 years old. Doctors said it would leave him with the mind of a baby and less than two years to live. Within 18 months, the boy was in a wheelchair and could no longer speak. But after 12 years in this vegetative state, he recovered. He is now married and says he was able to understand everything during those 12 years. Arena Grosu is director of the Center for Human Dignity at the Family Research Council. And Arena, what kind of misconceptions exist around people in this so-called vegetative state? Well, first we just have to understand that people in the so-called vegetative state are not vegetables. They are, they are people, they have brain waves. In fact, there was a study done where a healthy volunteer and a, and a person in a, a vegetative state were asked the same questions and the same parts of the brain lit up, which shows us that people in vegetative state can have brain waves, can think, and we, we are not aware of that, but we have to re remember the dignity of the person. Yeah, and never call a person a vegetable. Right, we have to find a different term. But certainly there was, there was some despair here. The doctors, even his mother, really kind of lost hope. Uh, how important is hope in all this? Well, he certainly had the will to live, and that showed in so many ways. The fact that he tracked the shadows on the wall, the fact that he was able to reframe the ugly thoughts, and, and also he had the support. His family was there for him. His dad took very much care of, of him. And then the woman who took care of him that realized that he can actually understand, she saw something in him, and that unleashed the power so that he could go back and get tested again. What a powerful story. But let's discuss some of the ethical issues that you see and what we can learn from this situation. First of all, everyone has human dignity and it's not based on whether they have uh, the mental capacity or if they're useful. We are full of dignity because we are made in the sacredness in this image of God. And so that's first and foremost. And second of all, um, medical personnel have to make sure that they don't uh, initially diagnose and then uh, put away, cast away someone based on initial diagnosis because that's very dangerous. Third of all, food and nutrition, cleanliness, warmth are basic needs that every human needs. And so providing people in a uh, so-called persistent vegetative state with those basic needs is what is required, minimal care. Just the way that Terry Schiavo died because she, uh, she died because of dehydration, not because of her vegetative state. Well, I'm sure God will use this young man in a powerful way, just as he's using you. Arena, thank you for thank joining you. us.